And of course, the uh, White House, uh, the talking point of this administration was, oh, this is an isolated incident. We're looking into it. Well, after a dozen or so of these, quote, isolated incidents, it becomes systemic and systematic. So this is policy. This is so the leftists can deny it until they're blue in the face. Uh, the Obama administration is overtly, systemically and systematically uh, displaying hostility toward biblical Christianity. And it all started by homosexualizing the military. Now they want to liberalize the military. And ultimately the end game here, Matt, and there's no question about it, is to completely secularize the United States military and to push to the fringes those who have a biblical worldview. You know, when I was uh, younger and we had the uh, Soviet Union as the big uh, uh, nation in the world that was the enemy of humanity and uh, ultimately of freedom, I often thought it's great to live in America because we can trust our, our news media and our government. And, uh, of course, the, military, the, uh, the Soviet Union lied to its people. Now we're at a, a time, we're at a very unusual time in America, Matt. And I think a lot of people have the same feeling where we can no longer trust our government. We can't trust this administration. This administration has an ideology. It is the most ideologically driven administration in history. And its administration is designed to divide us, to uh, take people that are law-abiding individuals, they're pro-family, pro-life, they're Christian, and they want to demonize them and stigmatize them. Matt, President Obama is to freedom is the enemy within. He is trying to divide and conquer. He is dividing the American people, dividing the military, and seeks to conquer it for the secular socialist political, sociopolitical worldview. 